Hey everyone, it's Jaden, and today I'm going to be doing my video for the week, so hopefully you'll be seeing this sometime on the weekend. I don't know if we'll get it up Saturday or if I will be on Sunday, but today I'm going to be doing a video which is going to be my five favorite horse movies of all time. So I have them all written down on this list right here, and I'm going to be sharing them with you guys right now. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, my camera's about to die. Freaking get it. So my fifth favorite horse movie of all time is Flicka Country Pride. This is the third movie in the Flicka series and I like this movie more for its comedic value than its actual equestrian value just because there are some pretty bad actors in it and the horse parts of it aren't that realistic but basically what happens is this girl and her mother are running this struggling stable and this guy who's going to be their barn manager brings Flicka to the barn and yeah you can watch it from there I guess if you want to see it but I do enjoy the competition clips like when they're actually going to the horse shows and stuff my fourth favorite movie of all time is Moondance Alexander and I love the color that Checkers is um, he is just so beautiful and I like the story of how she came up from being an underdog to where she was so basically what happens is this girl finds this horse and she takes him home but then they do find the owner so she starts taking lessons on the horse and it unravels from there so you guys can watch that if you'd like and the only part that I didn't like about this movie was how there was a tie at the end I thought it would have been better if they would have just made it first and second place to be honest um, my third favorite horse movie of all time is Spirit, Stallion of the Cimarron. So this is an animated movie, and I think it's the best mo animated horse movie that I've ever seen. And basically, it teaches you a lot about willpower and strength. So what happens is this horse spirit is born, and he becomes the leader of his herd, but he gets captured by the military, and it all unfolds from there. I'm sorry if I'm not doing, like, too good of a description, but I don't want to spoil this for anyone, so yeah. And this movie is also great for those people who don't get that much into horses but are still interested in them because it doesn't take that much to understand the plot of the movie. Um, my second favorite horse movie of all time is The Horse Whisperer, and this does have a very sad beginning, but it is a touching story about never giving up and always following what you believe in. So basically, this girl and her horse get in injured in a car accident and she ends up falling back in love with the horse again after going through a bunch of issues and everything. So it's a movie on how they grow together and to become strong partners again. And my all-time favorite horse movie is Black Beauty. So this is the Warner Brothers version and it is the horse movie that I grew up watching. I've always watched this movie ever since I was little. And it's an awesome look from a horse's perspective. Basically what happens is you follow this horse named Black Beauty from his birth to where he dies, I'm assuming. And you just see all the different owner he ha owners he has and just all the different like types of people that horses are around and all the situations that they're in. And it kind of helps you to understand what horses go through on a daily basis. So I really love this movie and I just never get tired of watching it. Like I could probably like go through my head and just relive all the homes that he's been in. Like that's how many times I've watched this movie. So yeah. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Peace from the East. That's my outro. Okay, bye.